Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And as you can see, I've got a brand new Illo sketchbook. Now you've seen me use this Illo sketchbook before. It's probably one of my favorite sketchbooks out there. And I have it for a reason. It is time to talk about Inktober once again. Now, before I jump into what is Inktober, I want to show you my favorite art supplies. These are our Winsor and Newton inks. They are like they're liquid inks, pure ink that would go into pens. And I bought these off of Amazon. I have not seen them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure where to buy them. Bombay inks you can buy at, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, tons of them. So I use those, I use Bombay inks, I use Winsor and Newton inks, and then I've got my go-to palettes. One of them must be destroyed. <laughs> and then there's my little flower palette. And there is my Ray Dunn palette that I'm going to use for this year. Now. You just don't have to use watercolor inks. You can use several different kinds of art supplies. Liners, you can see all these liners. I have Copic and Micron, those are my favorites. And I've got my go-to favorite ballpoint pen. These ballpoint pens are nothing special. They're just Bic round ballpoint pens. I've got purple and I've got black. They're called round sticks by Bic. They, you can literally buy them anywhere. And of course my mermaid brushes for my inks. And some jelly roll white gel pens. They count as ink because they are ink. They're white gel pens. They're just like a gel ink or however you make gel pens. I don't know. Let's talk about Inktober. If you are confused and you don't know what it is, Inktober is a challenge every year that was created by Jake Parker. Jake Parker is one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to art. He's very creative and he came up with this whole art creation called Inktober where he challenges everybody every October to only use ink to draw. Jake Parker's rules are simple. You just use ink to draw for all of October. Now, that could mean, that means Copic markers or any alcohol-based markers. That means the liquid ink that I showed you in the little jars. And it also means like any liners. If you don't, if you just want to use liners for the whole month, you're, al you're allowed to, honestly. You can use Sharpies. You can use paint pens. It's ink. Just use ink for all of October. Um, let me talk about what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of setting up my sketchbook with a prompt list. No, you do not have to use a prompt list. I like using a prompt list from Jake Parker's Instagram page. Anybody can go on Jake Parker's Instagram page or you can go onto his actual website and you can find the prompt list. I like having a prompt list because I did Inktober with my own creations, like, but I didn't have you know, a direction to go. But with Jake Parker's one worded prompt list, it does help you make the creation for the day. It helps and you don't have to do it. Sometimes I go off on my own for a day. If I don't know what to do for a word, I do my own thing because I'm just like, I'm clueless on what to draw. I like to draw characters that are inspired. People make stories by these words. I saw a guy completely make up an entire story based off of these words and it was like a whole haunted cute halloween story it was really cute there are many many different options and yes you can sketch out your drawings before you ink them that's a huge thing people always ask me can i sketch it out before i can ink it and of course you can no, <laughs> I'm pretty sure even Jake Parker said it was okay to go ahead and sketch stuff out before you ink it because you're going in blind and we all know that ink can get a little messy. And no, the big elephant in the room, I do not think that digital art counts for Inktober. I, I, I know a lot of people ask me and uh, people ask me in life and it's a huge controversy, but no, I, I personally do not think that digital art should count for Inktober because, you know, traditional art with inking, and I think even Jake kind of jumped on this topic and you can go find his explanation on his Instagram or his blog. I forgot where he posted it, but I read it and he even disagreed that digital art, you know, he, he's, he said that 
you know, he wants to encourage That's traditional That's the whole art. point about Inktober. It's about, you know, doing something you haven't done before, like inking. If you've never used a ballpoint pen or if you've ne or you're a watercolor artist and you've never used inks and treated it as a watercolor, or you're not good at lining with fine liners in general, this is the month to do it. And no, you don't have to do every single day of October. You're allowed to skip some days. You're allowed to do the days you want. You don't have to follow the prompt. However, I think that the only rules is do traditional art and use ink. I mean, and the whole controversy <laughs> with digital art, you know, you can't, it's so easy to go back and erase with digital art. And I've been doing a lot of digital art on Procreate on my iPad. And I've been, you know, it's so easy to erase. But then when I jump to my traditional art, I try to alternate as much as possible because I don't want to lose habits or create habits. But it's so, it's so hard to erase mistakes when it comes to like this Harry Potter drawing. It's hard, you know. I, you see on his knee that's kind of going outwards in his running position, you see that little glob of paint. I wish I could erase it, but I can't. And that's that's just the beauty of it. You just gotta go with it. And that's what the thing with inking or traditional art, you just gotta work with it. If you have a mistake, you gotta work with it, try to work around it and make it flow into the design. With digital art, you really, you're allowed to kind of like go ahead and you know erase it i'm not saying that traditional is easier or tra digital is easier they both have their big time complications and hardships and challenges but i'm just saying each one you know each one can be easier and one can be challenging a lot of a lot of good assets to digital art that it makes art easier you know you have everything on a screen you don't have to lay everything out on a table and say, oh no, I forgot my eraser. Where do I go? You know, you don't have to look under your bed or under your desk or see if your dog ate it or something. <laughs> so yes, I totally would encourage traditional art when it comes to Inktober. Inktober is a lot of fun and I usually do a video every day for October, but my schedule is so insane this year. I'm only going to have to draw on a sketchbook. I'm not going to post a video every month. It's hard posting a video every week just because of how crazy my schedule has turned into. But, you know, I, if you want to keep up with my Inktober post and get inspiration or you just want to take my ideas for each word that the day consists of for Inktober that Jake has come up with, then you can follow me on Instagram on Dramatic Parrot and that's how you can see my Inktober post. But at the end of the month, I want to go ahead and post a video of all my Inktober drawings. I mean, I'm going to post videos throughout the month, but still, I just wanted to, you know, pop in and say I'm not going to post a day every day Inktober like I've done for the past two years for Inktober. It's a lot of fun. And I really enjoy working with a ballpoint pen if you've never worked with a ballpoint pen before. Make that your challenge this year for Inktober or any lining problems you have. I always have lining problems. I'm trying to figure out like I really like this technique that I'm doing, doing the watercolor crosshatch and minimal, minimal color just a little bit of color on each drawing and I think that's what the theme I'm gonna go with this year along with the crosshatch on everything but yes guys I really hope you participate this year it is really fulfilling when you can fill an entire sketchbook with your inktober drawings and look back at the month and see wow I did that but if you can't it's no big deal everybody's life's crazy like mine <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed preparing with me for Inktober 2019. I hope to see you do it with me. I'll see y'all later. Bye!